Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and today Apple finally released iOS 10.3.2 to the public. Now for me, if you're on a beta, this came in at 2.02 gigabytes. It could come in at smaller, around 200 megabytes, depending which one you're upgrading from. So if you're on 10.3.1, you can quickly update because it's smaller, but if you're on the betas, you'll need to remove the beta profile, restart, and then you can check for an update and it will be there. Let's take a look at the build number. This build is 14F89, and this particular build is mostly just security updates and bug fixes. So I took some notes about it because there's too many to really just go through, but basically video, core audio, iBooks, the kernel, which is basically the subsystem to the operating system, notifications, Safari, security, text input, and WebKit all have fixes to them, mostly just security fixes, and then there's some fixes to Siri car kit. So on the surface, you're not going to see a whole lot. Basically, folders open as expected, things work okay, and if it's anything like the last betas, we could have some issues where battery got a little flaky towards the end, but they've taken two and a half weeks or so to actually update this, so it should be much, much better. Let's take a look at some of the benchmarks. So this particular version came in at 3550 for single core, 5952 for multi-core. Now the previous beta was 3529 and 5940. So we've improved quite a bit and actually we've improved since the original one as well. And I've done different videos on each one of those. Everything actually so far feels nice and fast and fluid. I haven't had any issues opening apps. Everything seems to be working nice and fluid and okay. And Everything is loading as expected. I haven't really had any hangups, although some people report frame rate drops on previous betas. So far, I haven't seen any here. So other than that, there's not much to report other than that it's fairly stable. It was great until the last beta, so it should be okay. And for most people, they were reporting that it actually has been very stable and battery has been great. Now, as far as this wallpaper, if you'd like to get your hands on that, this was sent over by Aryan Gandhi. You can follow me at Zolotech here on Twitter and send me your wallpapers if you'd like me to actually use them. I'll give you a shout out if I do. But other than that, there's not a whole lot more to this particular update. The betas were very long, and now we're really looking for iOS 11 that will be shown on June 5th when WWDC kicks off with their keynote. We'll see the actual iOS 11, whatever that is, and I'll be sure to cover that there. Let me know your experience with iOS 10.3.2 in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.